Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Yeah, um, we're having a, a low season this year on the Wampy, but I want to document it anyway because I, I know a lot of you are just starting out or um, halfway there with your Wampy. Um, yeah, so this one here is the um, I can't remember actually the, the cultivar but it's the one you shouldn't get it was the first one I got 10 years ago I didn't know any better and um, as far as uh, fruiting it's done really well it's a it's a good bearer every year this is the first year that it hasn't um, had much fruit in like six years Right, it's usually jam-packed with fruit, but this year, no, 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 no. That's all right. You can take a year off, right? Um, so it's got a lot of new growth, but it's extremely slow growing here, where I have it in in the ground. And it only grows like twelve inches, ten to twelve inches. A year one foot a year guys can you believe it uh, yeah so we're gonna try one try a couple maybe this is what they look like yim pay was it just came to me now can't remember if this is yim pay or not we're gonna check out the other one soon I just want to take a thumbnail for the video right there click um, yeah so these are the very first ones they usually come in April and yeah we're gonna taste it again so it came to me that's that was the guy Sam this is the yin pei here which did not fruit this year in its second year I just planted this this time last year and within a month or two of planting it it uh, fruited <laughs> wow but this year I decided not to and that's fine right unfortunately this one doesn't get much Sun at all if at all right and these are similar to citrus they need a lot of Sun but we'll see how it does it's growing underneath the uh, the Sue Bell white sapote um, right that one there in the ground and the sun goes from there across here there it is now so not the best position until it gets to two meters once it's at two meters then it'll be getting twice as much sun and this is the one i recommend the yim pay, uh, yim, yim pay yeah guy sam is okay too and like i said the only reason i got the guy sam because I didn't know well I didn't know right so since we're here we're gonna try the guy Sam hi guys mmm wow that is sour um, it's got a large seed mmm <laughs> It's a pleasant sour taste. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Very pleasant. Not as sour as Davidson's plum, for example. That's brutal. <laughs> that is a brutal kind of sour. This one is mild and and nice. Yeah. Mm. Another large seed. Mm. I like it. Doug in Brisbane doesn't like it at all. And I'm sure some of some others don't either. But guys, even though the guy Sam is sour, it's nice. It's like a 
a sour, sweet, tangy citrus. Wow, that was good. All right. And finally, I have this wampy that it's been in the ground for only two months. Yeah, I planted this at the end of summer and it's already one meter. Wow. And I grew this one from seed. It's not from dailies, seed grown. So we're going to compare and I don't know what the name of it is. I don't think it has a name. We're going to compare um, the seeded variety over the two grafted wampies, guys. And I've got a couple of more of them in pots, which um, I'm either going to also plant in the ground or give them away. One there and one over there. Right, that one there. So they're very, very attractive. Very attractive trees. Yeah, it's really a weird um, sensation. It's like um, a mandarin, a lime, and curry. <laughs> mandarin, lime, and curry combined together. Now, where else will you get that kind of f um, fruity flavor? All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you from the next one.